something called action. Action. When I hear sounds from my past, okay, it is so. very comforting and therapeutic in a way that even gives me the chills, especially hearing my father's voice from long ago. Thinking about this past, I became interested in the sounds of memory. My father also worked as a sound artist. This is a fun memory because I would go with him to work where I saw him editing the sounds on shows he filmed, like the Dukes of Hazard, Superman, and Lethal Weapon. So when I started the sound design project, my father gave me some of his audio sound recordings from 1971 that I could use. His sounds are of the racetracks with Indy cars, which is what my sound design starts with. Oops. This is my favorite sound effect. Do you know what a double-A field dragster is? I think I've seen one before, yeah. They burn nitromethane, not gasoline. Yeah, the fall fires coming out of that? Yeah. <laughs> they were burning pure nitro. They would put the nitromethane in the freezer, and the nitro froze at a different rate than the methane, so they would take all the methane out. So what they did was they, they started the car up on alcohol in the pits and brought it up to the start line. They got it staged, and then they poured the nitro in for the run, because it would only run six seconds. This is this to blow out my ears. <laughs> absolutely. Well, he blew a drive shaft right on the line. Right. That's all for this reel. Sometimes my mother went to these racetracks with my dad. Other sounds I used are of my mother's memories of these times from 1972. What I found out about my mother was that she did not want to talk about this past with my dad. And then she changed her mind. And she told me her story. Her story was pretty moving. And she was very excited about telling it. So he, dad ran out of film? Is that what you're saying? Oh, when, he, when he's filming a race, there's only so much film. And then you got to change the role and put another one on. And the camera he was using was one of those things you set on your shoulder. One of those huge cameras that has a big reel thing in it. And in order to change that, it's difficult. You have to actually put yourself in a tent-like thing where you put... It's a, it's a big thing that he sticks his head in to keep everything dark so he can do the roll. Does it make sense? Like a dark room, yeah. Yeah, it's like a portable dark room, but it's made out of fabric. He was filming the race from the helicopter. So he told the helicopter guy, I have to change the reel. you got to drop me down so I can get another reel. And the guy said, hey, okay, but I can't sit here and wait for you for a while while I'm doing the film. So he called me over get the helicopter. I didn't even know what was going on. I took off and said, we're going to go to Monterey Bay and on the coastline and all that, waiting for your husband to get his camera ready. So cool. I couldn't believe it. Just out of nowhere. I'm standing here watching a race and all of a sudden I'm in a helicopter. My brother and I went to high school in the 80s, and we spent a lot of time singing 80s songs. When I went to visit him this summer, we took a road trip to visit my sister in Montana. On that road trip, we reminisced about the 80s songs, and we started singing in the car. My sister moved away recently to Montana, 
and when I went to visit her on her property, I recorded the sounds of silence. Maybe the silence represents when someone moves away and it becomes quiet all of a sudden. When they move so far, you barely see them. Playing these sounds from the past brings a soothing memory. And I hope that others think of recording people they would treasure hearing again in the future. That's all for this reel. 